Hi everyone, this is Jayla from JX Stitch. Um, I just wanted to come on here and tell you guys about my um, yarn subscription, and I wanted to go through all the yarn that I've all, I saved all my yarn like wrappers. Um, I'm not sure how long it's been, but I'm gonna try and do it monthly after I do this. So I just wanted to clear it out. But like, so it's like a March monthly, but it's been it's been months before that. So, but I just want to get into it and show you the uh, yarn subscription. So I'm in fangirl fibers yarn subscription for um she has like a romance novel one and she has a like halloween all year um uh like category so of course i had to be in both of them i shouldn't be but i am and i'm not gonna stop uh <laughs> but i think this is so this is the romance novel one from january i think and it's 100 percent superwash merino I'm usually allergic to wool, but I, but I've been touching this and I haven't been feeling like. So I was like, whenever I touch merino and like or anything else, it's like, and I'm like I get all itchy. So I think this is gonna be okay. But I'm gonna make like a pair of socks. Once I get started on it, it'll be cute. I'll, I'll take a little picture. It'll be like December, but oh, cute, whatever. Uh, so this is best friends to lovers. It's DK weight 231 231 yards, 100 grams. And with each one, like, she has this little card that, like, says, like, recommends a book. I didn't keep them, but I'm going to keep them for, like, the future videos. But this one was for, um, a book called How, How to Marry Keanu Reeves in 90 Days, I think. Um, my cats are fighting over here, so don't mind that. Um, <laughs> and when I first got it in January, I did, wasn't obsessed with Keanu Reeves, but, like, I just watched John Wick Chapter 4. I, obviously, I need to go read that book. But yeah, this is <laughs> Best Friends to Lovers. It's really pretty. I did not like, hang, like, make it a cape or whatever, but I haven't. I just like looking at them like this so far. I'm not into, like, caping it until, like, I'm going to use it. Um, and this was from January as well. This is called Halloween Twilight. And it's, like, with these, it's, like, an image usually that, it, that like, she'll take uh, color inspiration from. I think these are really pretty. I would never, I never thought this would be like a Halloween color, but like, you know, you can't always have orange and black and green and purple, but like, I'm sure that'll be in the future. But this is really pretty. Uh, I think it's all, it's all the same stats with like the Wash Merino DKOA 231, 100 grams. Yeah, so that's, so that's, um, January. And I haven't gotten March yet, so I'll make that in another video. And this one is from February. It's got a little bit of gold in it. I'm sure it'll look, you'll be able to see it even more when I like cake it up. But this is called Rockstar Romance. And this book is called um, Fractured Hearts. Yeah. I, I'll put it in the description if you're interested. But I haven't read either of them yet, so. But yeah. Very pretty. And this is my favorite one so far that we've gotten. Look at this. These are these are my colors. This is me. Nice and dark. Kind of neon, slimy green. Look at this white right here. Love it. And of course, this is called Living Dead Girl. I absolutely love that song. <laughs> and I love Rob Zombie. I don't know if he's done anything bad, but like... <laughs> but the, what I've heard, what I, the music I've heard from him, I love it. So, this made me very, very happy. I was like, this is fantastic. Living Dead Girl. Love the colors. It's very me. So, I'm really happy with this subscription. I should not be doing it, but, like, I'm going to keep doing it. Because, like, it's cute. And I've never used hand-dyed yarn before, so, like, why not, why not just jump in and do it all year? And I've never made a sock before. So, again, just in it. No starting, no getting one. We're getting 12. We're getting 24. So, okay, so now I'm going to get into my yarn wrapper. So I'm just going to talk about, like, what I made and if I'll ever buy it again. <laughs> so I got this Craft Smart Value. Um, this, what color is it? And the color black. Um, no, I will never buy this again. This is, like, super thick. And it's, like, if you're using a worsted weight form with anything else, if you're using other worsted weight colors, and you use this, this is like, it's easy, it's like, 
it, it's way thicker than anything else. So like other stuff will be thinner, and then this will be it's like too. It feels like it's more tubular as well. But like that's not even just a. Pro, it's like it's only with the color black in this brand, which is really weird. Like I've used Craftsmart before, and I have some like and it's it's it is a little bit thicker. Like the pink that I have is a little bit thicker than like my uh, big twist. But that's not really a problem. But like the black is so rough and scridgy and like thick that I, I will never buy this again. I was like trying to get rid of it. It's like it's it's why. Oh, I still have some left. No, it's a no. Okay, I have this mainstays, hundred percent acrylic, and black. Another one. No, I was trying to. I see this. <laughs> I was trying to go through my black that I didn't like. It's the same problem as the Craft Smart. It's so rough. It's so scratchy. It's so thick. No. No. Never buy it again. Ever. And I don't really like main... I mean, the variegated yarn that I have from Mainstays, I've enjoyed it. But, like, I will never buy, like, that black again. I don't think I'll ever buy, like, solid colors from them ever again. Just to not risk it. Like, I'm a big twist girl. No. Oh, okay, this is all the little black wrappers. So I, <laughs> I tried out this Premier Basic, uh, medium four worsted whatever. This is in the color black again. No, I'm so sad. It was, it was. I thought all of it was gonna be soft because I only touched a couple of them when I ordered it. I wanted to try this Premier Basic, right? Because I love a good value worsted weight yarn acrylic. This is again. I'm repeating myself a whole lot in this video, but I'm glad I'm getting it out of the way. All the negative out of the way. First, thick, scratchy, way thicker than the other Premier Basic. Like, why is the black so thick? Like, it's not, I, I, I can't do, I can't have both. Mix it in the same, it's, no. <laughs> okay, so I had this impeccable yarn in the color black. I will buy this again. Um, this was like it was very very soft. It's like same quality as the other colors of Impeccable. So I did like this. Okay, big twist cuddle, hundred percent polyester. This is in the color blue variegated. I made a baby just recently made a baby blanket out of this. Um, I liked it. It's soft, but it's not. It's thinner than. Bernat blanket yarn. Um, it says stick super bulky. I would definitely say it's like a five and a half. It's like blanket yarn. It's very, very thin. And it's not like, it's more so like chenille yarn than it is like blanket yarn where it's like you can, it's sturdy on the like strand of yarn. So I probably, I won't buy this again. I'm trying to get rid of it honestly because I like the Bernat more because it's thicker. But I'm open to like, I like the thickness of the burnout blanket because, like, I want to make a blanket quickly. This, like, took a lot longer because it's thinner. So, I have this basic stitch anti pilling. It's going to be a bunch of these. This is in the color purple. I was making a cardigan out of this. Um, it's very, very soft. Uh, I enjoyed working with it. I would buy it again, but it's just so expensive. I had to get it, I got it on sale, thankfully, but, like, I just don't have a reason to go out of my way to spend because a regular price of Joanne's I think it's like six dollars and I got it on sale for like three or four dollars maybe 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 less than that but like if it wasn't that I never <laughs> um and it's like a small ball it's only it's only three and a half ounces a hundred grams so like that's not enough for six dollars for me like I understand it's anti pilling but like there's some other anti-peeling stuff like even on premiere like i even i was looking around but yeah i get this is on sale so i got it for a commission but I, I, i'd buy it again but only on sale okay big twist value this is in the color medium gray i have been working on um alt knots stitch and screen and i'm using it this color and i'm using this um mustard color like gold color um and it's eating up yarn, so I'm really happy about it. Because I, I just use what I have in my stash. Because a couple years ago, there was, like, a really, really big sale on Big Twist Value yarn. And I just, I went crazy. And I'm trying to, like, decrease it so I can buy more yarn. So, but yeah. I would definitely buy this again. I'm definitely a Big Twist girl. I love it. Big Twist Value. 
What color is it? Mustard. Yep. So stitch the stitch and scream. Love it. Okay, this is a big twist living. 100% anti pilling acrylic. Okay, yes, I did really enjoy this yarn. This is an oatmeal cookie. I made um, a hat out of it. It's very, very soft. It's very nice to use. It's like very smooth and buttery. Um, and when it's, it's, it's a little expensive, but it's less expensive than the uh, basic stitch. Uh, just regular price at um, Joanne's. It's like five something, but I got it on sale for like two ninety nine. So I like stocked up, and they have um, pride colors. So I don't know if it's pride colors in this one. Yeah, it's pride colors in the living one, and then. But not in the gentle. But I like I like both of those. I don't know if that's in here, but yeah, I'm just a big twist girly, except the color yarn. <laughs> but I do want to try their plus yarn because I think it, they made it bigger, so it's sim so it's much more comparable to Burnett. I, I do want to try that, but it's never in stock because people keep buying it up. Uh, I'm gonna get my hands on it <laughs> eventually. Big twist value, hot pink. Okay. So I made a cardigan out of this. I haven't posted it anywhere because I'm not done with it. I still have to sew it up. But um, it's my Pedro Pascal cardigan because he wore hot pink in like a bunch of uh, interviews. And I was like looking, I was yarn shopping and I kept, my eyes kept going back to this color. And I was like, I don't wear hot pink. What am I doing? Why do I keep wanting to buy this yarn? And then I looked at a picture of Pedro Pascal that I had been like looking at a bunch of times, like subconsciously. Pedro Pascal made me get this yarn, so it's my Pedro Pascal card again. But so you'll see that later. But of course, buy it again. Y'all gonna get sick of this. When I say I'm a big twist girly, I'm a big twist girly. This is the color lilac. I don't know what I was making with it, but oh, okay. Uh, my mental health blanket. Yeah. Lilac, big twist value. So I'm trying to get down my stash of big this value. Premier Basic Spring Green. Okay, so um, I am making a cardigan out of this to match a Star Wars shirt um, for May 4th. You know, May the 4th be with you or whatever. Um, I wanted like a neon, like slime green, like electric green. It, it looked like that on the website, but it's a little bit duller than that. It's definitely like a spring green, like it's saying. Um, it's a little bit more muted than that, but I'm still making it just because I don't want to waste my money. I still want to try Premier Basic. I would buy this again. It's a, it, it, it's it's really soft, actually. It's better than the black. So, there's a cat walking up here, so there's going to be an interruption. Big Who's Value. No. Love you. No. Okay. No, stop it. No, 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 no. no. Okay. This is in the color medium gray. Buy it again. This is Burnett Baby Blanket. Oh, this big wrapper is hilarious. Um, this is in the color Baby Grays. I made a, a little baby blanket. It's like pink, gray, white. It's really pretty. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll buy it again. Value Craft Smart. This is in the color black. Absolutely not. Never again. Basic stitch, anti pilling. This is in the color mustard. I was making that card again. Very pretty. All the colors, they all have equal thickness and they're all soft. So I'll definitely buy it again. Premier de Chenille. This is from uh the dollar store. And it's like they're cute. I was trying to make a baby blanket, but like the yarn is just too way too thin. It's just super bulky, but it's like it's like a four with fuzzy shit on it. Oh, excuse me. With fuzzy stuff on it. <laughs> um, but I, I like it. But I... It's definitely just a... <gasps> when you're at the dollar store, oh my god, there's yarn, and I pick it up. I, I should... I definitely, like, keep myself from doing it. Because I'm just going to make... I'm going to turn the colors that I got into, like, a pet blanket. So they can, like, make their little biscuits or whatever. So... It's a maybe. It's a... Jayla, stop buying this yarn. It's a dollar. It's too thin. It's not that great. So, but I'm like, it's a dollar. I had to get it. So I get it. And then I'm like, what am I going to do with this? So I'm trying to get that down. I have a, I have a purple and a green. 
the yellow and another like neon green i love the neon green but i just need to get rid of it because it's like it's just taking up space and it's like making me feel bad because it's like why'd i buy this you know pictures value uh pale yellow this is in my uh mental health blanket and this color means i'm having a good mental health day so it's a good thing i got i emptied this out so that means i'm doing okay <laughs> Uh, I have this craft smart value. Love good value yarn. Um, this is the color pink. I'm using this in my um in my mental health blanket as well. No. Okay, sorry guys. Okay. He's trying to. He's being a little troublemaker. Sorry. Take this value. Black. Yes. This is my favorite value black yarn. Value black yarn that I have. Um, I bought a whole bunch more because I was like, I literally hate all these other blacks on the market. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. But this is like very thin. It's very soft. It's just as, it's just as quality as the other colors in this brand. So pictures black i want to get this like big jumbo ball of it because i'm trying to make i'm making cardigans with like they have a lot of like have a whole side of black so that's why i need a whole bunch uh big choice value medium rose i don't know what i i don't know what i did with this color this must have been a long time ago medium rose hmm. yeah this is why we want to try and do it monthly so i can actually remember what i made with it B basic stitch anti-peeling white Cardigan, very good. I love it. This is the black basic stitch anti peeling. I liked it a lot. This is impeccable loops and threads. What color is this? This is camo tweed. Okay, so I made a little bean for my friend for Christmas. It's like a green with like it's a like a mossy olive green with flecks of like orange and white and gray. It was really pretty. Um I love impeccable yarn. It's so soft. I can make a beanie out of just one. Love it. I need to stop just picking up one because I'm like, oh, pretty color. I can make a beanie. And then I have a whole bucket full. But you know, y'all know the drill. Y'all know. That's just how it be. I have this impeccable stripes. This is when I was in my beanie era and I was making a whole bunch of beanies. This is teal mint stripe. Uh, teal mint stripe. I'm trying to think what I even made with this. Okay, yeah, I made my um, Avatar beanie. Because I, I made it like, when Avatar was coming out. And it has the same colors like the Way of Water. Avatar Way of Water or whatever. So, yeah, it was really pretty. People on TikTok liked it. <laughs> but it was very soft. Not as soft as like their um, as the camo tweed was. But I think it's just because of all the colors. Then I have this Charisma Loops and Threads. Um, this is in the color Dragonfly. This is one of my favorite. Oh, I'm just gonna show you real quick. I have this right next to me. This is like it's like a, a weight five. It, this is so soft. It looks like it would be wool, but it's not. Uh, this neon green. This is just this screams me. This is giving witchy Halloween. Yes, I will definitely, definitely, definitely buy this again. And I hope they make more colors like this for Halloween. Like imagine if they did like a Halloween line. Like only Hobie yarn does Halloween yarn. Unless y'all know anybody else, but like I need more Halloween yarn. I need, I need to get some. Yeah. Big twist value. Pale yellow. This is in my mental health blanket. Now I need to catch up on. I have not worked on that in a while. Uh, impeccable stripes. Berry stripe. Berry stripe. These names are like making me wonder what color it was. I'm about to look it up. I, I, I whenever I use impeccable stripes to make like hats. So I think it was like that um Valentine my Valentine's Day beanie because it's like uh pink it's like different shades of pink it's like a like a magenta a pale pink like two other like i don't know like a cream color so like a dusty rose it's very pretty uh big choice value varsity green i was using this <clears throat> i think i was trying to make a beanie but i need to frog that i was trying to make a demon hunter beanie but the way i'm doing it with the check with like the checkers the, like, the, yeah, the checker pattern, it's, like, it's just too difficult, so I'm gonna have to try and, like, do it a different way, but I'm gonna frog it. I'm gonna have, like, a frog and Friday type deal. 
one of these days where I don't feel like it. <laughs> I don't feel like it yet. I'm gonna sit there. Macy's 100% acrylic. This is in the color gray. Um, I do remember in liking this. Um, it wasn't nearly as bad as the black. I've never had. A, the, I've never had a worse experience with black yarn in the Craft Smart and this and the Premier Basic ever. Like, what what happened? I don't know if I got a bad bat or what, but I will never buy those, those that. I will never buy black in those brands ever again. These are all the same basic stitch. This is when I was making a cardigan. So I have a whole, whole bunch. Um, and I really like these. So, alright. There's my big pile of yarn wrappers. You saw my uh, yarn subscriptions. Thank you very much for watching. See you later.